Towards the end of last year, I bought this house in Koh Samui with a plan to convert it into two completely separate one-bedroom apartments. Now, I've already documented all that and episode one is on the top right of your screen now. In the last video, the builders went home and I revealed the final cost of the renovations. All that's left to do now is show you around for any new viewers and for my own nostalgia. Let's just take a moment to remember what it looked like on day one. Alright, so these are the keys that I was given. I opened them yet. There's more than one door, so I'm not sure why I was only given one key. Oh, well, that could do with a bit of WD-40, but in we go. So the plan for this one is pretty much where that breeze block is to build a partition wall across here and across there so that this unit will end here. So this where I'm standing right now will be the bedroom which will have an ensuite bathroom which we will actually extend to about here and there will also be a second entrance to that ensuite from here because here there will also be a second partition wall this one with a door in it so that that can be a private bedroom and then here up against this wall that's not here yet there'll be a, a fitted kitchen sort of in an L shape obviously these doors will be able to open this will be your sort of dining area where my hand is and then along here sideways uh, sofa bed so that you can have friends over if you want and mounted on the wall there a nice big TV so it'll be a lovely little one bedroom apartment so as you can see uh, the place needs a bit of work right this door's falling apart for example this is a back garden that needs a little bit of TLC also the whole place obviously needs a little bit of TLC but Moving forward, imagine a, a garden gate here, so that this then becomes a private garden. Uh, I mean, you could just keep your bike or your belongings here. You could maybe have a barbecue, although I think when you see upstairs, you'll probably say that you'd have it upstairs. So moving in, you have to imagine that now there would be a wall along here. You wouldn't have access to there. And then as you come off, obviously the place is filthy. The place is filthy, but this apartment will have its own bathroom, which again needs a little bit of work doing. Bathroom is a little bit larger than the one downstairs. And then you can have your bedroom in here. This is the room that maybe needs the most work. I would like to get this fixed and I'm also looking to get a bit of insulation in to help keep the electricity bill down and stuff because there's going to be an air con in this room. And that would just, the, the air would just be going straight out. So I'll try to insulate. Now, as you can see, this one the door has completely come off. So, um, nice view out the back though. So, and I think you can hear, I hope you can hear just how quiet. In here, you have your separate living room. So it's gonna be the exact same kind of thing that I said. Here you have your mounted TV, and as we move back, you've got your sofa, couch, your pull-out sofa bed, and in the corner here, an L-shaped, decent enough European-style kind of kitchen. Some drawers and stuff up the top. Again, plenty of air and stuff, and then here, at the front of the house another balcony so if you rent in the upstairs unit you've got a front balcony a back balcony and a private garden area and so 95 days of work and around 20,000 euros later it's finally time to show you all the finished product so i'm calling the upstairs apartment a and downstairs apartment b so let's start upstairs shall we so I've had the path here cemented just to keep things even and safe at night time and I've also installed a solar light here halfway back. That's um, really nice, really very bright so that in the evening the person that's living at this rear entrance won't feel 
worried if it's a lady or whatever. Um, private entrance and a private yard also. I mean, this, this tank is shared with the other unit, but the other unit won't really have any reason to ever come here. Nice, safe, quality teak door with a very good lock on it. Um, big story with that if you've been watching the videos. But uh, as you come in, everything is newly decorated and clean. But there's not really a huge amount to see as it is just a corridor. But um, once you've come up those stairs, let's start in the living room. We have a 55 inch LG TV, brand new, never been used. And that's a lot bigger than the TV that I have in my house. And you're gonna find actually that that's a pretty much a theme I've gone with where the things here are better than what I've got. The TV right here in my house, for example, is, according to this, maybe 44 inch, 43. At my house, for example, I have a, an older couch made to sort of imitation leather that started to peel. Doesn't turn into a sofa bed like this one. Doesn't have the cup holders and stuff, doesn't even have the cushions, to be honest. But have a look at this. Want to get your feet up? No worries. Boom. Feet up. Nice. Want to get your feet up a bit more? Oh, oh, I've got a bit of dust on that. That's not good enough. All right. Come on, mama. Oh, how about that? Now we're really cooking, right? Got a mate staying over? No worries. Too drunk to drive home, mate? There you go. You get your head down, my old son. Oh, see you in the morning, folks. Oh, yeah. Then there's these expensive curtains that we splashed out on. So this is what it's like with the curtains drawn at my house. Now, as you can see, it's still pretty bright. You can see me. Um, they're not the worst, but a lot of light does still spill through that fabric, doesn't it? Hello. Pretty good. Pretty darn good, huh? I like them. Even this furniture on the front balcony costs over double the furniture that I got for myself at my house. Table and chair there, very, very nice. Modern kitchen with a brand new fridge, two cookers, microwave, um, kettle, and plenty of storage. We've thrown in a few little luxuries or extras for free. You see the washing powder the tea making facilities and stuff in here, some water and just a few sweeties, just to say welcome. This bathroom has been finished with a new granite counter and sink, a new mirror, new toilet, new bum gun, freshly painted doors, new towel rack and storage shelves, and this lovely powerful shower with the overhead option don't have one of them at my house either. This is the bedroom in the upstairs apartment which has this king size bed with shelves, a powerful aircon, its own private balcony and that very large wardrobe. And this is what it looks and sounds like on the outside. So this is unit B, which has front and side access. So we will come in through the front door now, which takes us into the kitchen, dining and living room area. So as you can see we have a very comfortable and nicely sized kitchen and to the right here a very nice sofa bed and a 55 inch television. The kitchen features a large fridge, storage, microwave, two gas cookers, a kettle, and there is also this table with four chairs. 
this downstairs unit has one large bedroom featuring air conditioning and inside the bedroom we also have a very large wardrobe suitable for two people quite easily. This bedroom also features an ensuite which has two access points in case you don't want people to come into the bedroom we also have a second access point which is here for the same bathroom this bathroom has been beautifully decorated because we wanted to make sure there were two access points so that yeah you've got an ensuite but also when your friends come around this door could be closed your bedroom can be kept private and your friend can still use the bathroom and features a high pressure shower brand new sink brand new toilet everything everything in this entire apartment in fact is brand new none of the equipment that you see here has ever been used this bed has never been slept in and there's also an extra little storage unit here in the bedroom for you to keep things out of the way and that's a lot larger than it looks overall i am very very happy with how this has gone and um, what you see behind me here is pretty much what i had pictured in my head when i started before i bought the house this is kind of what i pictured in my head um, i hadn't quite got the color scheme and stuff like that down yet but i knew that's where the tv will be this is where the couch will be that's where the kitchen will be i knew all this and we've done all right i think we've done all right we can be proud of ourselves um, we can be pretty proud of ourselves. Nothing in life is perfect, and it isn't perfect. But it's not bloody bad. This is as good as it's going to get, so fingers crossed for me, guys. A lot of effort's gone into this. A lot of money's gone into it. And um, hopefully now's the time when it all starts to pay off, and slowly but surely the old bank balance starts to return.